Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Just watching some pelicans flying by here. Another beautiful Friday morning here in North Naples. Are we going to get lucky this morning and see a dolphin come by? You just never know. Beautiful out there, those. So flat again. Birds flying by. I'm going to do my best here to walk up the beach. Take a little beach walk this morning. Again, it's going to be a little bumpy. I apologize. Lots of little shells along the beach here this morning. Maybe we'll get lucky and find one of those, a big lightning whelk or something this morning. You just never know. Every morning is something different. I see one of the great blue herons that hang out here at the park. I believe there's three of them. That's the most I've seen at one time is three. He's up ahead of me, he or she. Hopefully it will hang out long enough that we can get a look at it. Beautiful birds, those great blue herons. An absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Clear blue sky. Nice little breeze. However, it's supposed to warm up. Get really hot today. There's the potential for another record-breaking day here in Naples. As far as the heat goes, been pretty darn hot the past few days. I hear an osprey calling out. I don't know where it is. Might be in the trees behind me here. I don't hear it now. It's beautiful out here though. There's a paddle boarder off in the distance making his way up here. The water is gorgeous. No red tide. No red tide, thank goodness. We'll get a better look at the water as soon as the sun comes up. Our friend Roy is doing great. I've been talking to Roy. He's doing good. Doing very well. Oh, here's a whelk shell on the beach. Our first lightning whelk this morning, but as usual, the story of my life with these whelks lately. Not a whole lightning whelk. <laughs> What's left of a lightning whelk? 
been finding lots of broken lightning welts lately. It's kind of neat though, you can look inside it. That's kind of a cool look at a lightning welt. Some worm shells down here on the beach. Couple little pieces of some worm shells. Darn it. The great blue heron disappeared up there. Yesterday I saw a lot of these Florida fighting conks out on the beach. There was quite a few of them out here yesterday, the Florida fighting conks. Beautiful shells. This one's got some nice stripes on it. Nice pattern. quiet out here this morning. Well, yesterday we found a big slipper shell on the beach, a really big slipper shell, the biggest one I've found so far out here. There's another nice one, a slipper shell, not, not quite as big as the one I found yesterday, but that's a nice slipper shell right there. Yeah, it looks like a little slipper when you turn it over, the slipper shell. Fairly common on the beach, lots of small ones. What is this? Looks like maybe what's left of a little baby fighting conch shell, possibly. Not much left to it, really worn down. Again, the good news, no red tide this morning. No red tide now for the past, oh, four or five days. A little piece of finger coral. We are red tide free right now here in North Naples. There's that paddle border over there. Making his way up the beach. A lot of times the dolphins will come out and play with the paddle borders. They'll swim right alongside of them. But not this morning, darn it. I know the dolphins are here. They've... They were spotted yesterday. I saw some comments people were leaving in the videos and pictures that I posted yesterday that they were out throughout the day and did see some dolphins. That sky beautiful. The gulf is just so flat out here. This is perfect for dolphin watching when it's flat like this. Already cold up in New Jersey. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, Lori. It's absolutely gorgeous down here. It looks like a piece of a little 
banded tulip shell over here. Yep, I've been finding pieces of beautiful shells. I haven't found the whole shells. I'm just finding bits and pieces of them lately. The banded tulips are gorgeous shells. That's what's left of one of them. There's another little worm shell down there. What is this down here? That is an interesting little shell here. Very interesting little texture on that shell. Very, very rough. Almost spiny. Well, let's walk up the beach a little further. Look at this. Look at that pile of shells right there. It's a huge pile. Can't imagine what's buried in here. This is just, an, look at this, old, old lightning whelk there. Lots of worm shells, worm tips. Lots of these in there. Lots and lots of worm tips. Oh man, you need a rake to go through all these shells here. That is a huge pile right there. This is the south end of Area 4 Beach, Del Norwegians. Look at the pile here. Look at this pile of shells here. Big piece of worm rock sitting on the top there. Always find that fascinating, this worm rock. That is pretty cool looking there. That is neat. Very interesting textures there. Well, let's mosey on up the beach a little further here. Again, no red tide. Our friend Roy is doing well. I'm doing the best I can without a gimbal here, holding this camera steady. Trying to raise the money to get that new gimbal. It's getting close. Some great folks have sent some little donations in. I really appreciate that. Hopefully soon I'll have enough saved up to replace it. There goes some more pelicans. Seeing, I've been seeing a lot of pelicans this morning. Yesterday morning we didn't see any. This morning we're seeing them flying south again. Always a good sign to see pelicans. When you see pelicans, that means there's fish out there. So we definitely Life is definitely returning to our waters here in Southwest Florida. Still a little dark to see the water down here, nice and clear. Looking really good. As we look down to the south, come around and look to the east. The sun not quite up over the trees. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky though. Tides almost all the way in here. Another couple hours will be at high tide. A 
Lots of shells piled up along the beach. Lots of them here. That water feels great. I believe the water temperature is right about 85 degrees here. Did I hear a dolphin pop up behind me? Yeah, well, there's one out there too. Pretty far out. I just saw two dolphins swimming by out there. You're gonna have to look close. See them? See them in the center of the screen? Can you see him jumping around out there? I'm holding it as steady as I can, I'm sorry. There's two dolphins out there. It's kind of dark. Where did they go? They're making their way down to the south. They're really far out, I'm sorry. Now they're staying under. Hmm, I don't know where they went. Well, there was two dolphins. I think you got a little a peek at them there. I'm sure you could see them, although they're really far out. I'm hoping to see a couple more come closer by the beach here. Oh, they're they're dilly dallying out there. I see them. They just they they're staying under for a long time. Let's see if I can spot them out there. Your eyes peeled. You might see them come up out there. I'm kind of guessing where they're going to pop up. Darn, they're staying under forever out here. Where did it just go? Wish the sun was up. Where did they go? They're staying under a really long time. Oh, there they are. They're way, way, way out there now. We're not going to be able to. Sorry about that. They're way out. We're moving further out. I thought with it being high tide, they might come in and get close to the beach here. Well, it's good to know they're out there. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a couple swim by a little later. Loving all these shells piled up along the beach here. Some great shelling. Anybody that wants to come out here, bring a little rake, a little hand trowel, like one of those little garden rakes. So you can dig through these piles of shells. That's what it takes. Everybody's gotten the good stuff off the top. But you can see there's some, there's a lot of them here piled up. Look at that. I guarantee you there's shark's teeth in there too. Little piece of a banded tulip right there, baby banded tulip shell. More shells over here. Man, these piles, this is where you really, if you take your time, 
and go through them is where you're going to find some neat little interesting things. You know, the other day I was, I don't know, a week ago, I was trying to find a slipper shell to show everybody a slipper shell. Now, there's just hundreds of them piled up on the beach. I mean, everywhere I look, there's slipper shells. They're all over the place. Little baby fighting conch shells. Get out into the sunlight here. It's a lot easier to find the shells when we get out into the sun. But as you can see, there's piles of them all along the shoreline here. There we go, out into the sun. Boy, big difference in the temperature when you walk out into the sun here. You definitely feel it right away. It's gorgeous out here though. It's early morning light. Wow, there's a piece of a, the remains of a huge lightning whelk shell down here. Piece of an old lightning whelk. That thing was huge at one time. Look at the size of that. That would have been an awesome find. Right after Hurricane Michael passed off our, you know, passed by us out in the Gulf, People were finding whelks this size. I saw quite a few people walking around with whelks this big, whole lightning whelk shells. Very lucky to find those. Beautiful little scallops out here, pieces of them. That would have been a nice scallop. That would have been a nice big scallop shell. Beautiful. We got some really nice scallops on the beach here. Very colorful. Cockles, the cockle shells. That's another common shell. There's a big cockle. Big cockle shells we find on the beach here. This one's got a big hole in it. This would be great for hanging on the shell tree. Cockles are very common though. Also, these little guys, I picked one up earlier. This is a smaller one. This is a nice little medium sized Florida fighting conch shell. Give you a look down the beach here. Just hoping to see those dolphins come by here. Some more pelicans flying by, another little group of pelicans coming by. I don't know if you can see them out there. watching the pelicans. It's, just, it's hard to hold this camera steady without that gimbal.
That was a, looks like a seagull that just flew by. The water is just looking great out here. Look at this water. What a big difference. A couple weeks ago, this water was disgusting. Totally just dark brown, horrible. Now it's getting better every day. Still not back to 100% perfect, but it's getting better every day. Boy, this beach has changed a lot right here, just in the past week. Look at all these shells down here. If you're just getting into shell collecting, you can come out here, you'll find some great, great specimens to get your collection started. I tend to look for the fancier shells, the whelks and the moon shells, the murex shells. I haven't seen a murex shell here this morning. piece of a moon shell looks like a piece of one maybe it's the top no it might be the top of a nope it's upside down it's hard to tell when they're upside down that's a piece of that's the top of a fighting conch Another broken banded tulip shell down here. Dag nabbit. <laughs> Always finding these just pieces of them. These are one of my favorite shells, the banded tulips. I'd love to find a big one. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, be here. Be sure to hit the, sh the share button there so your friends can follow along with this. Is that a little nautica or moon shell? Let's see what we got down here. Yeah. Now this one, the eye, the center of it's faded out. Usually it has a nice dark eye on it. This one's all faded out. That's kind of different. I'm walking really slow here. Try and keep the shaking down as much as possible, the camera shake. Another beautiful little fighting conch shell. Beautiful little, these are like medium sized right here. Beautiful, the fighting conchs. Quite a little ridge of shells there on the edge of the beach here. Beautiful blue sky, beautiful water. A beautiful Friday.
Do another look at the water here. That's the big story. How the water is finally clearing up here. Seems the dolphins have been coming out later in the day. There's been a lot of dolphin sightings in the afternoons here and the late mornings. A couple days ago, manatee, the whole pod of manatees, a big, huge pod of manatees came swimming through. You might want to check that video out. I shared that. Somebody got some video of it. They were actually out in the water as the manatees came by. What an experience. What an experience. Very jealous. There's an old turkey wing shell on the beach. An old turkey wing. Pretty cool shells, the turkey wings. Everybody has to have a turkey wing or two in their shell collection. bits and pieces of my favorite shells down here. Just bits and pieces. Here's a piece of a crown conch. What's left of a crown conch. Another beautiful shell, the crown conch. There's a little baby one. What's left of a little baby crown conch. Flat as a board out there this morning. There's our pines where Roy sits. We'll be sitting on Audrey's bench over there. Roy is doing great. An absolutely gorgeous Friday. I am so looking forward to getting my gimbal here so I can extend my beach walks. It's really hard holding the camera here with both hands and trying to pick up shells. I'm getting really close to getting the money together for the new gimbal. If anybody wants to help out, make a little contribution. It's always appreciated. Nobody pays me to do these beach walks. You can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post at the end of the live feed. Several people have already helped out. I really appreciate that. It's getting close. Not quite there. I think I've got about 100 and 
ninety dollars in contributions, and I need the gimbal's two forty nine plus the shipping and and uh, insurance for the drops and spills is another thirty bucks. So it's almost three hundred dollars. We're getting close. Absolutely gorgeous out here, though. I am going to sign off here in a minute. And I will probably come back in a little while. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to walk around the beach for a little while. Check things out. And maybe I'll come back and do another little live feed. If not, I'll definitely share a couple videos from my walk around here. And photos, as always. But anyway, be sure to take the time. Check out my photos and videos right here on this Facebook page. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. When you do, hit the like and share button. And also be sure to like and follow Southwest Florida Television. And please, please, please tell your friends about us here. We're just one big happy beach community. Beach family. We're a beach family out here. That's what this is all about. My beach walks are just a platform to, to converse with others. How's that? To converse in the comments introduce yourself make new friends here there's been a lot of great friendships made here right here on this facebook page what's so neat is i find myself walking this beach and somebody will come up and go are you rob i'm like yep yeah, i watch you all the time that's just so neat and i mean and it's people from all around the world coming to this beach and saying that. It's so neat. The same thing would happen with our friend Roy when he was out here. Roy will be back soon. No fear, he will be back out here. As a matter of fact, I am gonna go visit Roy today and we'll do a little live feed from Roy's house so everybody can see how Roy is doing. There's a little Murex, ta-da! I didn't want to end my beach walk without finding a little Murex. A little, a little one, it's a little Murex, but it's a little apple Murex. So I will be over at Roy's later today. I'll get him to play his harmonica for us. I'll give you an update on him. Hey, good morning, how are you doing? It's wonderful. Oh. Oh. Some neat stuff down here, beautiful. There's so many beautiful slipper shells, beautiful slipper shells. Absolutely gorgeous slipper shells out here this morning. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end this beach walk. Um, there's a good chance I'll do another one here a little later. I'm gonna hang out at the beach for a while. If not, I'll definitely share some photos and videos. Just hoping to see the dolphins. They just seem to be coming later in the day. And I will go pay Roy a visit at his house later today so he can get an update on Roy. See how he's doing. I also want to talk to him about his book. I know a couple people have ordered some books and they're having trouble getting hold of them. 
He always an he always answers his phone. I mean, I'm not in charge of his book sales. I just help him get the word out there about it. But you need to call him. And he'll be happy to get things squared away. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Until the next live feed, have a wonderful, wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.